Cast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. If you can hear me and see my screen, just type yes in the questions, please, and we'll get started. <clears throat> All right. Great. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, the product comes with education. So there's a four-part four educational course. Uh, and um, <clears throat> you can access that anytime uh, once you're a customer. Uh, and then you um, can also access the daily advanced order flow webinars. They start at 11 Eastern time, so in about uh, 28 minutes. And um, the content in the advanced order flow webinar is we're looking at the specifics in the order flow phenomena. It's not so much about the platform. And the content uh, supports the educational course content. So learn about it and then see it in the live markets. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out at support at bookmap.com. Okay, let's go to the website quickly here and just uh, show you uh, a bit. We have some new traders in here uh, starting off the week, so I want to welcome you guys. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. This is the uh, this is the moment, uh, or this is the uh, the place, and uh, can help out with a, a lot of different things. Uh, else, I'll just kind of ramble about uh, what Bookmap is, what it's showing you. And um, I start to read some of the basics in the order flow. Okay, we're not going to get into some of the advanced uh, order flow analysis. Uh, that is reserved for, for customers that uh, have moved beyond some of the basics. All right, so we, we segment out the, the two different uh, uh, groups uh, so that, uh, you know, the our, our users aren't left, uh, uh, you know, answering or covering the same old questions again and again. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, here's the website. Scroll down a little bit. There's an intro video here, okay? There's about in, uh, about bookmap information here. There's bookmap for equities. I'll talk about this in just a second. Uh, and then uh, connectivity, okay? So uh, what is bookmap? Bookmap is a visualization software trading platform, okay? We are not a data provider. Uh, we connect to many of the data providers that you see, well, all of the data providers you see here. You also see some platforms just like we are, NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect via the API of these three platforms. So you can go that route if you like. Else, we prefer it. Uh, since we are a platform, it's cleaner uh, data to just get it directly from the provider. Throw. So it, it, from CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, uh, Transact, or this Dev Experts. Now, this Dev Experts uh, is for, it's a great feed. Uh, it's for NASDAQ Total View uh, and NASDAQ Last Trade, which allows you access to Bookmap for Equities. Okay. And uh, I can show you some of those equities. Uh, maybe I'll just do that really quickly here. Okay. Uh, hold on just a minute. Um, and let me just close this up here. Okay. All right. And uh, all right. So book map for equities. Let's go to Amazon and let's check, check, check a look at this. All right. Or maybe Apple. Uh, because it's uh, it's rather fascinating to see book map for equities. Uh, just these large areas of liquidity and how the market behaves in between them. Uh, as you can see here with Amazon, uh, how important it really is to understand the limit order book. Uh, because you can see that we just kind of bounce between the larger players here providing liquidity in the book. All right. So anyway, that's uh, uh, something very unique uh, that uh, this DX feed offers you. Uh, to be able to see full depth of market, uh, along with a lot of our uh, uh, data providers. Well, uh, CQG and Rhythmic, especially Rhythmic, um, offers um, uh, a full depth of market okay, for uh, CME uh, products, where CQG won't do that, but, uh, uh, they, but Comex and Nymex, they do. Anyway, 
uh, let's uh, continue on here. Um, uh, pricing, okay, so uh, the different packages here, there's monthly uh, or there is uh, yearly. So let me reboot this here. Okay, uh, so you can you can subscribe monthly or uh, or yearly. Uh, you get a twenty percent discount yearly, uh, and the two different versions, digital and global. So I'll briefly go over this. Uh, there's a digital version that is free. It connects to one uh, digital currency, so Bitcoin, U.S. dollar, whatever it is you want to look at, uh, Ethereum, U.S. dollar, uh, and uh, it's real time. It's a full uh, version of Bookmap, but that's all you get. Uh, well, you also get uh, connectivity to one U.S. equity as well, uh, but it will be delayed. It's delayed data up to 72 hours or so. All right, so um, uh, that's uh, that's what you'll get with the free version. It just gives you a taste of what's going on, uh, and um, uh, but it is it is real time for that digital currency. Now the digital plus. Uh, 37 uh, per month. Uh, this will give you access to up to 20 digital currencies, and you can trade right from the bookmap chart. Okay. It also comes along with the advanced education uh, and access to the advanced order flow webinars that I mentioned, uh, and it comes with full support. The free version has limited support and only basic education. Okay. Now, for futures and for U.S. equities, you'll need to go with the global uh, bookmap. Okay. It's $49 per month. Uh, and offers that connectivity uh, or access uh, to connect uh, with the futures or U.S. equities. Uh, it has the advanced education and full support. The Global Plus, okay, it's the same as Global, except uh, you get the one-click trading add-on. I uh, could trade right from the bookmap chart, and you also get these other uh, add-ons here. These are indicators uh, that we put together. They're proprietary and they look at specifics in the order flow. So they're not like uh, your regular uh, CQG, I, I'm sorry, um, uh, RSI or uh, uh, stochastics or anything like that. They're very specific. We're looking for, for example, here, the large lot tracker, identifying larger players in the book. Our iceberg detector, again, identifying larger players who are entering the market using the um, uh, iceberg orders, okay, hidden orders. Uh, and um, all right, so that's that. Uh, let's see, you can follow us here on Twitter. Uh, you can see our, our Twitter feed, get up-to-date information, all sorts of new stuff here in Twitter. Uh, so you might want to check that out. Uh, a lot of new great content uh, that we're putting together, lots of articles. Uh, I should uh, also mention the blog. Uh, you can find a lot of those articles here if you click on blog uh, and um, uh, all sorts of great stuff here, okay? Uh, and then our YouTube channel. Right here, uh, you can uh, access uh, all these playlists. Uh, if you're new to Bookmap, I'd recommend starting with the intro playlist. There's only like four videos in here. Uh, and then um, then go through and maybe some of the features and components to understand what you're looking at in Bookmap. And then get into some of these very concise and short uh, order flow video snippets that go over uh, the uh, order flow phenomena that Bookmap uncovers. This is the kind of content that we go through in the advanced order flow webinars uh, in detail. Okay, so that's putting the rubber to the road and really getting the most out of Bookmap and understanding it. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, let's jump into Bookmap and uh, take a look at uh, at the uh, interface here. Let me close up some things here and turn off some things. Just a minute. Okay, there's a point of control. There's also a VWAP indicator here. These are new for Bookmap 7.0. Okay, and we're just gonna turn that off for now. Uh, and we're just gonna simplify this chart, okay? Because for a lot of you, this is gonna be, uh, look like nothing else you've ever seen. Uh, it looks rather foreign. It's actually really straightforward data, all right? And um, uh, I can just demo that very simply here uh, by showing you just historical best bid and offer, right? That's all this is. Okay, there's there, this is as simple as it gets. I mean, this is way simpler than understanding the concept of a candlestick uh, and what it represents. This is just the market bidding and offering at specific price levels and trading there. Okay, the next level of information that we're going to show here is the um, 
uh, uh, the volume that traded and transacted on this historical best bid and offer. Okay, we show that with the volume dots here. Let me bring down the uh, dot size a bit. Okay, and that's it. Okay, those are two elements. Uh, that's all you can see here uh, on this chart. Now we do have a volume sub chart as well, uh, typical for uh, most trading platforms. Uh, but um, uh, then the third element that we have on this book map chart is the heat map. Okay, so what is the heat map showing you? Okay, it is showing you uh, the uh, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, how do we usually uh, access that information in the dome? Okay, here's our dome and book map. Everything to the right of this vertical white line here is the live market. Okay, this is the last traded volume or current traded volume, uh, and uh, you can see the best bid and offer here. Here's your price ladder with the S&P E-mini, and then here's your dome. Okay, your depth of market, best bid and offer, and then these are levels here of liquidity on the offer. Sellers lining up, providing contracts here that want to deal at these specific price levels. Here's the market on the on the bid side. These are buyers down here. They want to buy at these specific price levels. Um, you can note that these numbers are always changing. Okay, as it's adding and pulling liquidity. Uh, maybe they get cold feet. Maybe they uh, really want to buy at certain levels, and so they'll bid an offer. Now, the problem with this dome is that uh, once these numbers change, you don't have a record of what, what had occurred there. Uh, it's only uh, in real time here, and then you'd have to memorize the rest. Okay? Bookmap solves that issue very clearly with the heat map. Okay? We take, let me zoom in a little bit. We take this data in the dome here. Zoom in a bit more, okay? We take this data here in the dome, and um, uh, then we, in this window here, which is the current market, uh, we turn it into a, a graphical uh, uh, heat map here. So areas where it's, it's, it's brighter here, well, you can see the scale up here. If it's dark, it's very low liquidity. All the way up to orange is very high liquidity, okay? We can see, spot right away where the high liquidity is. Up here at 24 and a half, on the offer, 470 contracts. Down here at 18 and three quarters, 383 contracts. Okay, we know this market immediately. Okay, we know how the tra transactions are taking place uh, within this high liquidity as well. So we already have all sorts of information here in front of us. Okay, and we can zoom out as well, and we can start to note these striations uh, in this um, in this heat map. Okay, so this is adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, so note how it, it was bright, bright uh, orange, and then, it, then they pulled, it, it became yellow, uh, and then they added back in. Okay, look at some of these areas down here. They, they really, you know, uh, added and pulled liquidity in some of these areas. This gives us insight to the intent to trade. Okay, if they're going to start pulling liquidity, uh, well, maybe they don't want to deal at these levels. Uh, maybe they want to come up here and, and approach these levels here. Okay, we can read the tape within these areas of high liquidity. We can also understand where they stay in the book and transact. So we can determine if this is real liquidity or fake liquidity. And let's do that. So let's just zoom in right here. Okay, and we can see that. Uh, well, here's our answer. As the market comes one tick away here these guys start pulling the majority of their liquidity, okay? And in fact, look at the insight that we're getting here. They're pulling here and they're adding up here, okay? They weren't here before uh, at this price level, okay? So we're starting to note exactly their behavior, okay? This is, this is uh, bullish uh, because uh, uh, they're pulling away and adding at a higher area. Price is in there. You can see the tape is, is green here. Uh, and uh, we're uh, lifting the offer up into higher areas. All right, so we can put the, a complete picture here together of what's going on in the uh, in the market. And um, let's just uh, zoom in here because I want to show you uh, just how simple this data is, but how insightful uh, as well. Okay, here it is, best bid and offer. Red line is the uh, historical best offer. Best bid is the green line, and then these dots. These are uh, transactions on the best bid or offer. If it's a green dot, we we uh, the way we classify this as an aggressive market buy order. Someone hit the market buy button, and they took liquidity off of the best offer. 
and a green dot paints. Okay, and then you can see here the red is the uh, market sell. Okay, so now one of the things in Bookmap um, is that we record every single market event. Okay, let's zoom into this bigger dot right here. Well, you can see that we're pulling it apart into clusters of trading activity. Okay, we're down at millisecond level here, so these are thousands of seconds. Well, we can continue to zoom in here, right? And we can continue to zoom into nanosecond levels here. Now we're looking at billions of seconds. Okay, so what, what we're showing in Bookmap is every single market event uh, and uh, uh, very accurately uh, uh, recorded here. Okay, so it's a very objective view of the market. It's really how this unfolded. Look at these little barrages of, of uh, uh, aggressive buying here. Okay, and uh, we can start to understand and piece together uh, algorithmic activity, how it might be behaving, uh, the, or the algos on the, on the, in the order book are behaving, uh, all sorts of data that we can start to understand and piece together. Now, the point here though is, is, is not to, uh, zoom into these areas and say, wow, you know, look at, look at, uh, um, you know, it, it is fascinating to see. Uh, however, uh, we don't trade at those levels. Now, if you're trading algorithmically, uh, this is going to be great for you because you'll see exactly how your algo is behaving and where it's getting filled. Uh, but for the rest of us, uh, we can zoom out and look how we've taken that all of that bind and made it just a bigger dot. So it's aggregated here, but it's only aggregated graphically. Okay. Now, if you want the precise data, we can hover over using the data tip tool here. And you can see the date, the time, what was on the ask, and the volume. OK, and um, uh, or zoom in again and we can still hover over these and we, we've broken it down. This was for four, four lots here. This one was for two. OK, so all of the data is precisely recorded here. And then uh, it is um, displayed in a way that is digestible for us as as traders. OK, so that's what we're displaying here. Uh, and that's what we're putting together and starting to understand in the order flow. Uh, uh, the intent of traders and uh, the the aggressor here, uh, how they are uh, behaving. And uh, for, so, for example, let's just look. We can see kind of a, a, a flip here or a change in the order flow. Okay. Note on the way down. Okay. Look at all the ag aggressive sell orders and clusters of red at lower lows. This is very typical uh, of a trending down market. Okay, and uh, look at these little these little highs here in these areas. It's actually not so bad, but compared to, to these other clusters here, uh, there's there's uh, less buying. Okay, in this area here, there is none. Okay, at the at this at the top tick here. Okay, there's very little at this top tick. Okay, so uh, you you can start to uh, uh, put together, uh, you know, who's in control here, and it's obviously the sellers. Okay. Look at them down here as well. This is pretty interesting. Uh, hitting the bid pretty hard here. Pretty hard. Well, all of these guys here are going to be trapped. If the buyers can step in and uh, lift the offer up out of this trading range here. And that's precisely what they did. And you look at the pullback to, to where? To the top of the range. This is actually one of the setups that we cover uh, in detail in the... Uh, 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 educational course. So it's a pullback to where we broke from and see if we accept above that area. Not only did we accept here, you can see that we broke out again and it started to accept, uh, but uh, you see one push down here into, and this is going to be the um, uh, point of control of this little range right here. Okay, that's where we're testing and we're seeing who's in control down here. It just means the most traded area here. And you can see it in the profile as well. Okay, and so uh, uh, it's kind of the last stop to see if the if the buyers still have control or not. Okay, and you can see there was a little bit of a battle here, but you can see the victor of that battle. Okay, uh, and again, same process here. You can we can look at it uh, very precisely. Okay, here we broke, here we broke, but we did we did get a pretty deep pullback. Okay, and then here we broke as well. Okay, and accepted higher. Now, same thing here, actually, back to the point of control of this. Uh, so, uh, you know, this also gives us insight to this kind of reversal in the in the order flow. It's not very strong. 
okay? Because the pullbacks are deep. And there's clusters of selling here as well. So if the sellers, if we can't make a higher high up here, and the sellers, and we start to see a lot of selling down below in these areas here, okay, and we're starting to, okay, well then we're starting to look for a test down to this level here, or maybe the high liquidity at this 2720, okay? Because that's where the liquidity is, and that's where the market knows it can trade, okay? And we're starting to see some of that follow through already. Okay, so we're just we're just putting the pieces together and very objectively and clearly reading the tape within the liquidity heat map, okay, and understanding how they're behaving uh, in the uh, uh, in the order book. Okay, the buyers are down here at uh, at 19, the majority of them. Okay, we also noted these guys here at 20. We're also noting these guys here at 20 are starting to pull. Okay. So uh, market uh, uh, need, will need to go a little bit lower if it wants to, uh, 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 you know, hit that high liquidity down here. Okay. All right. Any questions? Uh, any questions about the uh, uh, about the features? Uh, there's many, many features here uh, to go through uh, and uh, answer any of your questions, uh, but. Um, uh, one thing I do want uh, to note, I, I kind of usually uh, go through the process a little differently here uh, for uh, the uh, uh, showing you what, you know, or describing exactly what bookmap is, is showing. Uh, I usually use a candlestick chart because um, the, uh, the candlestick chart, we're so accustomed to this view. And we can just clearly see, though, that we're just not getting much from it. Uh, because uh, we can't read all this kind of data within it. Uh, where the where did the volume trade? How much? Um, uh, you know, uh, how did it unfold? And more, even more importantly, is what about some of the microstructures that we just covered? We don't even see that in here in this candlestick chart. And and this is really a, a problem. The, this candlestick chart is very opaque. We don't have any of that information. Okay. So here, we just traded into, into 20, okay? We noted it up here, all right? Uh, that, uh, we, you know, we have that uh, potential to come down here into trade into 20 and maybe 19 as well, okay? We noted the deeper pullbacks. All of that kind of analysis uh, is completely lacking uh, here in this candlestick chart. And this is a five minute candlestick chart, okay? All right. Uh, if, uh, if no questions, uh, then, uh, let's, uh, let's wrap it up and, uh, we will, uh, uh, see you guys in the, uh, advanced order flow webinar in, uh, in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming guys. We'll talk. We'll meet up tomorrow. Bye.